Now moving to something you might do every day, cutting across the train tracks by Trollinger Avenue. While this act might seem simple and harmless, it's illegal and extremely dangerous. Our Michelle Alfini has more. North Carolina law says anytime someone crosses railroad tracks anywhere other than a marked crossing, it's considered trespassing. It's not that they're horrible, you know, law-breaking people. They see, uh, I'm here, I want to go there, uh, nearest place, can cross right here and, and go right on across. And it's a law most Elon students aren't familiar with. I mean, nobody really monitors it. You just kind of walk across the tracks and go on with your day. Police say people cross these tracks all the time because it's easier than going to a marked intersection. But if you're not paying attention, the results can be deadly. People got their earbuds in, they're talking on the phone. Those levels of distraction really are a primate, uh, a, a significant cause of those railway accidents that we do see with pedestrians. In the past year, there were 25 people struck and killed by trains in North Carolina. 20 of them were trespassing. This includes two in the Elon Burlington area. Smythe says this is often because people underestimate how dangerous the trains can be. They certainly don't stop on a dime um, and their conductors are very concerned with those things. So they try to look out for that, but that's not always possible. On a Friday afternoon, we had a camera recording for just an hour and saw 44 people cross the tracks by this break in the fence near West End Terrace. I think most people think that they could hear a train if it's coming by. Though the train only rolls through Elon's campus a few times a day, police want students to remember the law when it's time to cross the tracks. Michelle Alfini, Elon Local News. The last related, uh, train related fatality in the Elon Burlington area was in late January, but there hasn't been a fatality of an Elon student since 2007.